In today's video, we are going to look into a couple more combination circuits. Uh, the two we are going to look at would be multiplexers, very important combination circuit, and uh, decoders. Then we will look into a typical standard cell library and what kind of different combination circuits or combination gates are available there. And yeah, we will look into some different variations of each cells, how those are um, considered in a standard cell library. So yeah, we'll focus on these things. Let's get started with multiplexer. <clears throat> we, we did look at some of the combination circuits using uh, preliminary gates like N, R, inverter, exclusive R, exclusive NAR, NAN, NAR. Multiplexer is a very good, a little higher level circuit. Uh, that uses those gates and is used a lot in in the logic uh, So uh, a good one and it's available in standard cell library too. So if you look at let me get, uh, Okay So this is the symbol. So what multiplexer does is for those who don't know So you have input a coming you have input B coming and It's a circuit combination circuit that allows us to put one of the input on the output. So it, it typically has a select line, okay, when for this one, this is one bit, this is one bit. So select is one bit too. When select the logic value on this select is zero, output becomes A. So it's like A goes there, so, okay, you, you enable a switch. So now you're making this signal go at the output whatever if a is 0 output is 0 a is 1 output is 1 similarly if select is 1 then B signal goes to the output so if B is 0 output becomes 0 B is 1 output is 1 independent of whatever is the value of A exactly the same thing we describe in the truth table form so you see our inputs are A, B, S. I mean, it's not an input, but as since we have to give a selection, so it's we we have to set a value of of S. So it's it will be treated as input for truth table. So three bits, you can see we can have A combination: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, A, zero, zero, zero. Again, when you're setting the value, forget about whatever these. These are three inputs, and these are all the unique patterns they can take. We typically <coughs> go with like A is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So this all with a select 0 combination. And then the same different possibilities of A, B with select 1 combination. I set it in such a way that it, it looks right from here. The Y is output. Uh, output here All right. now if you look at when select is 0 y is exactly copy of a b doesn't affect that similarly when select is 1 y is exact copy of b if the value of a doesn't change it hence it's a multiplex so it's a multiplex of the a or b how do we implement this now in in gates in basic gates so the first method is a typical method this is you can um, you can even conclude that from this uh, like this is one 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 and look at the combination is one and input is one and zero so input is one it's okay, sorry, I'm maybe, maybe I do explain the same thing. So if, if you even think of intuitively, um, if A and B comes to Y, then if we put an AND gate here and here, and with the AND input, if we put a select line, Since select when select is zero, 
can look at that. We will look into them. Now select a zero. This and input becomes one. And this is zero. This one zero means this is disabled. I mean, the effect of B, whether it is zero or one, output will be zero. This effect of one means whatever value of A will be taken out. You can come up with this exactly the same if you use uh, K maps or you use just the min terms and just add those min terms for these four values. This is the same thing A, S, dash, and B, S. And when you simplify it for you. Another implementation is with the tri state buffers. So you have again we we can put an inverter here come here and then when s is one if you remember tri state tri state um, output is in high impedance state so when this is on this will driving the value and this one will be high impedance state when s is zero this is we are actually opening this one and this one is driving and this one is high impedance as if it's not connected all right so those were two now we need some time a bigger boxes so this is like two input uh, bits and output one output sometimes we might have a logic in rto that requires a bigger boxes there are four inputs coming a b c d okay um, like this a b c d are input and now why when you can think of now we have to multiplex four inputs so if it's just one bit select it will only give us opportunity to select either a or b or b or c or c or d in order to have a possibility to select one of the four you need to have four different uh, unique patterns and that is possible with two bits two bits gives us two raised to power two unique patterns so ss whenever this value a goes to the output i i skip all these different combination basically output becomes a and this output becomes b uh, one zero c d again you can implement exactly same way like this it will be a little bit more complex circuit or have more a b c and d tri-state buffers and have two lines coming to each but a more practical method is this one if in your standard cell library you already have a two to one you can use three of those to make it four to one so each one is uh, s0 here s now you can s0 you give here like let me draw this so when s is 0 a is selected okay. Oops, not that one. let's look into this one s is 0 if this one is selected a and from here c is selected so A comes from here, C comes from here. But we know that then when S1 is 0, S0, S10, we have A selected all the way to output. When S1 is 1, then from C selected. So you can use this combination. S0, when it's 0, S1 is 0, A selected. When S1, S0 is 1, S1 is 0 then you have b selected and to select this one you have to put as 0 and 0 1 but you have to select this route over here simple concept but using this you can build large a 4 to 1 8 to 1 16 to 1 or other type of multiplex hope you understood that another important circuit decoder what happens in decoder a symbolic is a uh, symbol is this two inputs and when you have two input, two raised to part two, you can have a four unique outputs. And why it's a little bit, it's the opposite of multiplexer. On multiplexer, you have more inputs and less outputs, but it's the other way around. 
Suppose you look at that. A, B. When A, B is 0, 0, we want to have only Y, 0, 1. Nobody else won. And this has practical implication, all these things. So this unique way of transmitting information or controlling something can happen when A and B are 0. And we select only 1. When 0, 1, we only want and Y1 to be 1. Everything else is 0. And similarly, 1, 0 and 1. And this behavior, when for a certain combination of input, only one of the output is 1. That is called decoder. And using this one, I left it. So let's let's fill this in. Y3. So Y3. Y3 is here. Y3 is 1 when it's A is 1, B is 1, or A, B, with N together. Y, Y2 is 1, which is over here, and A is 1, and B is 0. Y, what did I do here? So Y3, Y2, Y1, this should be Y0. Okay, Y1 is A, over here a dash b1 and y0 here when both a and b are 0 or another way we say a dash b dash so once you you make this circuit which is pretty much this one so i will do just one and then you can do the other ones y3 let's say this y3 a b so you connect This uh, hopping over means it's not connected with those. And B. You can make similar circuit with B. And this will be like a basic 2 to 4 decoder. If you look at standard cell library, in previous video, I believe, I, I gave an overview of okay, what a standard cell library is. Standard cell library, in terms of combinational gates, it has basic logic gates, inverter, buffer, and NAND, or non-exclusive, or exclusive NAND. And it also has some of the next higher level uh, combinational circuits, like multiplexer, decoder. It also has one cell, which has N, and it has then multiple Ns together, or, and then invert, as one standard cell. A O I almost so this this one the basic list I got from Skywater 130 nanometer uh, tech, open source technology uh, technology library and similarly R N invert these are I mean you can even make these circuits with others but this one is more optimized uh, a more optimized standard cells available that synthesis tools can use to you create a more optimized netlist then we have some adders half adder full adders and these this will come in next video or next videos a latch and flop flip-flop these are sequential elements and I haven't started on sequential elements so this will come later in my videos in standard cells you can see here one two three four four eight eight twelve to uh, 14 and 16 cells but standard cell library sometimes I have hundreds of cells or maybe thousands and what really happens overall the list I mean there, there could be more or less for different standard cell libraries than what I have here uh, the unique functionality wise unique cells are not that many but each cell has so many variants like inverter so many different type of inverters and what is typical different thing is i would just give an example of inverter because i haven't done a basic cmos and mass circuitry how nand is made inverter is made but i'll give you an example of just inverter so that you can understand why there are so many variations of each cell an inverter is made up of n mass and p mass connected in this way P mass is connected to VCC and mass eventually connected to ground and there's an input and output is over here. 
That's a basic inverter with two MOSFETs. Each transistor is picked, is picked at a particular length of the gate. That is the technology. Okay, so roughly, that's roughly whatever the technology is, that is the length of the transistor. Like it's uh, 130 nanometers, so zero the length of the gate is 130 nanometer. But width can change. Width mean if you make the width of the transistor, and when I do CMOS, you will understand it better. Uh, when you make the width bigger, that is also a way of making the transistor faster. So if width of the transistor for this, if the same length but width increases, transistor current increases, means transistor is faster. So what we do is in a standard cell library, we don't get one inverter. We want since synthesis tool is using so at synthesis a gate level synthesis tool, it takes input as RTL and it takes constraints from the user, from the designer, from you. We also give it standard cell library. The job of gate level synthesis tool is to convert RTL into an optimized netlist. Optimized netlist is interconnection of standard cells. An optimized interconnection of standard cells that meets the input constraints which are given in terms of timing we will look again in detail what timing is means the delay through the cells area how big the cells are how much the overall area is how much how many cells can be contained in a given area and power and using these constraints synthesis tool picks a particular type of cells or and then within that a particular variant of a cell and then uses that so by giving these different variants we gave an inverter with a minimum width it will be smallest area but it will have um, it will have a, a delay wise it will not be very fast then as we increase the width of the transistors area increases but delay decreases but power increases we will look in detail on these factors but that's why we have so many different versions or variants of each cell there. Hope that was good and let me know if you have any question. Thanks. Bye.